Hello class. Today I'm going to be talking about the Ventura Water Peer Program and what it's about and how this impacts us. I was originally interested in this because there is a construction site right by my house in Marina Park where they're building the ocean outfall pipeline. Um, and yeah, I wanted to tell you all on how this is going to help our county, if you're in Ventura County, face drought and those problems. So as we know, Ventura County relies on local water sources such as the Ventura River, Lake Acetas, and groundwater basins. And this all requires rainfall to replenish them. Drought is a main challenge that Ventura County faces. And Ventura Water Pier is meant to be a solution to this problem. Ventura Water Pier is a program that provides a locally owned water supply that isn't depleted or it's not dependent on rainfall by sending the wastewater to the Ventura Water Reclamation Facility to be treated and cleaned before it is discharged into the Santa Clara River estuary. This is meant to be a long-term solution to the water challenges. This program was originally designed in 2021, and by 2023, this program will officially be fully implemented into the community, which honestly is not that far away. Right now, the wastewater from Ventura is being sent to the Ventura Water Reclamation Facility, where it is treated, but now there's going to be an upgrade with a facility called the Advanced Water Purification Facility. That will further treat the water so that the water can be of higher quality and we can reuse it and drink it and all that good stuff. Ventura Water Pure will recover, treat, and reuse water that is currently discharged into the Santa Clara River estuary, creating a locally owned drought resilient water source that is not going to be fully dependent on rainfall, which is awesome. Ventura Water Pure will be using four different treatments to purify the water. The first is um, membrane bioreactors, and this is going to remove microorganisms, bacteria, and pathogens from the water. Next, um, UV light is going to be used as a treatment to eliminate viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. Next is reverse osmosis, which will remove salt, chemicals, and viruses. And this is a common practice used by. Um, water bottle companies, which is kind of interesting. And then lastly, UV and advanced oxidation is going to be used, which breaks down cell walls, DNA, and any other remaining pollutants in the water. So those first two treatments are going to be done at what the water Ventura Water Reclamation Facility, and the other two are going to be at the advanced water purification facility and that's the new one so currently there's an ocean outfall pipeline that is being constructed at marina park as i mentioned and this is a very critical part of the program this pipeline will act as a disposal of all the concentrate that is generated by the advanced water purification facility also this pipeline is important because it will also like divert water that exceeds the advanced water purification facilities in emergencies, say if we get like a lot of rainfall. So it's kind of as a backup for that as well. And then there's two parts to this pipeline. The first one is at Marina Park, um, and it's the offshore segment, which is going to be completed by May 2024. And once they finish that, finish that, they're going to do the onshore segment of the pipeline, which is going to be done by July 2024. And this is a total of 11 months to complete this project. So it will be done kind of soon. Here's an infograph that you can find on the website. Um, you can also find this actually on the walls of the construction site for the ocean outfall pipeline. Um, and it really helps you visualize how this is all going to come together and be a circular system. 
um, and how the water is going to be reused. Of course, we still have that pipeline going out to the ocean, so it's not completely um, circular, but um, it kind of gives that illusion to it with this infographic here. So here is where the site is located. It's obviously really close to the beach. It's practically on the beach. And this is where the ocean outfall pipeline is. Um, the walls are 24 feet tall. It's supposed to be soundproof, which is pretty cool. And here I am right in front of the signage they have about the project on the walls. And one of them actually has a QR code. After scanning that QR code, I'm brought to this website here where I can get an insight on what Ventura Water Pier is, um, what it's meant to do. There's also a video summary of all this information and it's like less than two minutes. Um, so that was super beneficial to watch. Um, I also really appreciate how it's really easy to contact them. Um, I feel like sometimes it's kind of hard to find how to contact someone if you have like a concern or a question. So I appreciate that. Um, I specifically want to talk about the FAQ section. Um, I really like how there's a Ventura Water Pure question area, but also an Ocean Outfall question area. And the ocean outfall pipeline is the one that's in Marina Park. Um, and I specifically was looking at this environmental impact because I, one, I want to know, but also I want to know how easy it is to access this kind of information because sometimes I feel like those environmental impacts are kind of brushed under the rug, if you will. So... I'm being told from this question, I need to go here to this website, then um, I can look at the most recent report, and I did a deep dive into this, not really deep dive, kind of more of a skim, just because I was curious to see again how accessible this information is. Um, I believe on page 20... It begins to talk about and assess every single type of environmental analysis. So, one, it's going over like air quality, water quality, um, risk of being a hazard, as well as things like aesthetics. Um, I think it goes over like transportation, cultural aspects to the project. And I looked through basically every single one and it was a no and in this case no is good you want it to be a no um and it one gives you a quick summary of like it's not doing these things and then explains all of it and it does that for a bunch of um different categories so i would definitely say this is very easy to look at um even if you're just doing it quickly it doesn't take that much time. Um, so I think that is definitely a positive of um, this whole entire project. I'm happy to see that I'm easily able to find this report and actually look at all of the de the details, excuse me, and all of the, um, just every, all the little nitty gritties about the project. Um, going back to the main website, we can also look at the whole entire timeline of the project. We also have additional resources about the project um, and then some of the latest updates about um, the 101. There's like some closures there and then other construction updates. So overall, definitely easy to maneuver through. I learned a lot just from reading this page. Um, so I think the average person would definitely benefit from scanning that QR code and just reading a little bit about it.